All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how you can create a virtual meeting using Zoom. You start by going to zoom.us, or if you just go to zoom.com, it'll direct you there. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is create an account. I already have an account, and I'm already signed in. So I'm going to approach it from the standpoint that you already have gone through the process of creating that account. You'll see that you have two buttons up here at the top when you get to that page when you're signed in, and it's going to be join a meeting or host a meeting. We're going to look at host a meeting for this video. We'll do another meeting for joining one, but we can do it with video off, with video on, or a screen share only. Screen share, of course, is just going to show what's on your screen. Generally speaking, you're going to probably start these calls with video on, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now you'll get this pop-up box about opening Zoom meetings. And then it'll open up this pop-up that has join with computer audio. You're going to want to do that. You might go ahead and test your speakers and microphone first just to make sure stuff's working on your end. When you do that, you'll just tell it yes if you hear the sound. And if you see your microphone moving down here, then you know that's working. You can go and say yes. Then you can go ahead and say join with computer audio, and it's going to bring you back to this original box. So you'll have to click this join with computer audio again. If sometimes I've had it where I do have to restart my computer to make my sound work or to make my microphone work. And sometimes it's that the other person can't be heard, but it's really my sound that's messed up, even though all their stuff is working. So just remember, if you get kind of those goofy scenarios, you probably need to restart your computer and you should be able to hear everything. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and click on the join with computer audio now that I know my stuff is working. And now my video has, or my call has started. You can see my microphone has become hot and it's moving as I talk. I'm going to mute that right now by just clicking on it. I can unmute it again and remute it again just by toggling that on and off each time. Same thing with my camera. I'm going to leave my microphone off for the purpose of this video because otherwise you get some weird feedback. But my video is going to keep going. Now, a couple buttons down here to mention. I need to get other people into my meeting. I can see right now by clicking on Manage Participants that I'm the only one in here. So I simply need to go ahead and say Invite. And then I can say Copy URL. Once I do that, I can then go into my email or into Teams and just paste that link in, send it off to whoever I want to have join me. They click on that link and then they'll go through the process of joining that I'll show later. Now you can click on these right here. It's just going to start up an email. I just prefer to go copy the URL. I also have this chat option over here. I can toggle that on and off just by clicking on it like everything else. And then people can ask questions during the meeting. Now you notice when I move my mouse off of that box that I do not see my menu bar. So a lot of times I get questions, hey, why can't I see the menu bar? I don't, I don't have any controls. Sure you do. Just move your mouse back over that box somewhere and those things will pop up. And if you leave your mouse still for a while on that box, it's going to make them disappear as well. Just wiggle your mouse a little bit and you'll get them back. Now, the main thing you're going to want to be able to do during this meeting is click this share button. So similar to what you'd see in Teams, you now get the option to share screens or to share specific programs. So right up here, I've got three different screens going. I can see all of those. I also have a whiteboard option that's pretty neat. But if I pick screen, then anything I put up on my screen, I open up a PowerPoint, I open up a Word document, I open up my email, all of that's going to be able to be seen, whatever I open on that screen. If I come down here and I just want to have just a PowerPoint or just one specific, just one specific thing to show or one program to show, then I would click on this. Then no matter what else I do on my computer, that's the only thing that people are going to see. Okay, I can do then, I can go down here then just click share. And now everybody's going to see that. You notice that my little uh, thumbnails of my computer or my videos are going to show over here and all the other people that are in the meeting. And you notice that my menu is gone. That's so that I can interact with this web page. I can go to whatever else I want to do and just show those things and people will be able to see what's on my screen. Now my menu is gone, so I'm going to simply hover over the top here where I see this little uh, green box. And then I can see I can get my menu back up there. If I wanted to annotate something to make a point, hey guys, you really need to look right here. This is the important part. Then I've got that option just by clicking on annotate. I can turn annotate off by just clicking it again. I can pause the sharing, all the other stuff that you see up here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, say stop sharing right now for the purpose of this video. If I need to record a video or record the video, I can click this record for the free version. You're only going to get... Um, to be able to save it on your desktop, you won't be able to save that in the cloud. All right, that's really the main stuff that you're going to need to know for being able to uh, get into a meeting. Now, when I'm ready to end the meeting, I'm going to go ahead and say end meeting. 
And then I'm going to say end meeting for all. If I do that, then everybody that's in the meeting is going to be kicked off of the meeting. If I just say leave meeting, it's going to allow all the others to continue to meet, but I'm going to be gone. So I'm going to say end this one for all. And now I'm done. So now let's take a look at how you can schedule a meeting. So if you wanted to do that ahead of time, send the email out uh, automatically and everything else. I'm just going to go here to this little person icon. I'm going to click on that. So it's going to take me now to my profile page. And this meetings tab on the left is what I'm really interested in. And here I can see that I can now schedule a new meeting. And just like you'd schedule a, an appointment on your calendar, you're just going to fill this out. We'll talk about a few of the settings though. When you want to change the date, you can just type it right in there. You can pick the calendar to pick a specific date. You can change your times. You can change your time. You can change the duration. You're only going to be able to do it for 40 minutes. So you could do something like that. You can leave it at an hour. It's just going to cut you off. No big deal. Set your time zone. The meeting ID, I would leave it generate automatically. The meeting password, if you for some reason had a reason that you wanted to make this password specific, you could. You just click on that and set up whatever password you want it to be. So the host video, I would say you want that to be on. Participant video, you probably want that to be on as well. But you might decide that you want to let everybody else toggle that on when they're ready. And so you can just leave that off. I typically would leave it off. That way when the person comes onto the call, their video is off. They can get themselves ready before they decide to turn on their camera. For audio, just leave it set at both. And then meeting options. Enable to join before a host or um, enable waiting room are two things that you want to consider. So if you know that you're going to set up this appointment and you don't care that other people get in and start talking before uh, you get into the meeting, you can just say enable join before the host. Just remember that that does start their time for when they're meeting. So you might want to be a little bit more uh, specific on that. If you think you're going to go long, then you could say enable a waiting room. Then they're going to go into a waiting room. And when you're ready, you'll go in and allow them to enter your room. And at that point, then that's when your meeting will start when you've decided to start it. I would always say mute participants upon entry. Just toggle that on. That way, when they first come into it, their microphone is off. Now, you're going to have to remind them, hey, remember to hover over your screen and go over to the microphone and click on it. But I think it's good because it keeps it if they have noise, background noise and they come in a little bit late in the meeting, they're not coming in making a bunch of noise. If you want to record automatically on the local computer, you can select that, but you also have an option just to turn that on. Sometimes it's easy to forget though. You're just going to say save then. And then you notice now if I come back here to meetings, that now you can see in your upcoming meetings tab, this is one that's there. You can go ahead and start that. You could start it any time you wanted to really, but you're ready to do it a few minutes before the meeting's ready to start. You just come in Remember that everything's going to be found in the meetings then for you. If you click back here on the topic, you can get back in here to the link. So those are the two ways that you're going to start a meeting for Zoom. Again, I'll do another video that just shows really quickly how you can join a meeting. Hope this comes in handy. If you have any other questions, be sure to hit up your Innovative Learning Specialist.